Hey guys, I'm Never Bricks here, and today I'm coming back at you with another haul video. Now, you might be wondering, what company are those figures in front of me from? Because, you know, traditionally, it seems like most of my haul videos are from Brickmania and TMC. However, what you guys are looking at today is a haul from K-Town Bricks. Now, I know that I've done some videos in the past uh, regarding some hauls and some minifigures from K-Town Bricks. They are a great, great uh, smaller minifigure printing company uh, based out of, I believe, uh, Tennessee, if I'm not cor incorrect. Hopefully that's right. Hopefully I got all that information right. Uh, their website is K-Town Bricks. Their Instagram is K-Town Bricks. Go ahead and check them out. They're mainly known for their medieval stuff and some of their kind of 1700s era minifigures, Napoleonic Wars, that kind of stuff. Now specifically today, we don't have either of those things in front of you, but what they did release was an army builder torso for the American Civil War. So as you guys may or may not know, I'm really trying to build a large Civil War diorama, and ideally I would like to use accurate unit sizes. So what that means is I need hundreds of these figures. That is correct, hundreds. Uh, I know that that might seem like a lot, uh, especially for just a Lego diorama, but I'm really trying to do as close to, you know, a true life scale as I can. But without any further ado, why don't we jump into these torsos. Just for dramatic effect, there. Well, one was remaining. Oh, actually, two got stuck in the bag. But as you guys can clearly see, what we have are a bunch of southern soldiers torsos, and then we also have some Union torsos. So why don't we look at the Union one first? I'll put them on this little stand that I have fashioned. And so actually, it appears that the stand is a little bit too small, as you guys can clearly see. So if you give me a second, I'm going to build an even taller one. Okay, I am back. Sorry for the delay. I just had to, as you guys know, build a new stand. It's now multicolored 2 by 4 bricks, but that's all right. So looking at this torso, what you guys can clearly see, using my RPG as a pointer once again, we have you know, kind of a U.S. belt, you know, with the belt buckle, the U.S. belt buckle, of course, for the Union soldiers. And we also have uh, what would be used for his percussion caps. So this was a little piece or a little, should I say, a little pouch that uh, soldiers in the Civil War wore on the front of their belt because percussion cap muskets required an additional thing beyond just the cartridge being loaded. And then we also have, you know, this uh, strap going across the trench across the chest, should I say, if I can speak English, uh, that this would be carrying the ammunition cartridge pouch. But what you guys might notice is that these are not 360 degree printing, printed, should I say, not printing. Uh, I think that essentially K-Town Bricks is trying to make them the most affordable. So while we do have the strap for the ammo cartridge pouch, we actually don't have the genuine cartridge pouch on the side. So, you know, all those details are fine. We have the gold buttons, as you can see, just a traditional sack coat on the figure. Now, if we go to the back, there's nothing really of note. Uh, if I move this to the front, where maybe you can see it a little bit more clearly, you guys can see the cartridge pouch strap continuing across and then his belt as well. And of course, this side doesn't have anything additional because there isn't 360 degree printing. So, I think in this haul I ended up getting 6 Union bodies and 11 Southern bodies, and essentially my logic with this is that I'm not going to be needing to get many of these army builders for my Union side because I'm really going to go for full 360 degree printed ones, but I still did want to try them out, so that's why I got some of them. So if we take that guy off, and then we put on the Southern soldier, what we can see here, if I left his arms up, very similar design, of course, only the Confederate States buckle replaces the U.S. buckle or United States buckle. Then we have, again, the same percussion cap, little pouch, and then this time we have a, you know, a brown, a light brown uh, cartridge pouch across his chest. Same kind of buttons, you know, the gold buttons, and of course on a gray uniform, gray signifying the southern troops most standard issue and then of course across the back we have the continuation of the cartridge pouch strap and then also the belt you know not anything of substantial design one thing i will note is that it is likely that i'll buy more of these uh, southern army builder torsos that doesn't you know don't have the 360 degree printing because i'm not really concerned with making the southern troops look 
very, I guess, uh, uniform. As you guys may or may not know in the Civil War, the Southern just industrial capacity was not very high. They didn't have a lot of the textiles and appropriate dyes that they needed to really have a standardized uniform. So a lot of the times guys wore mismatching uniforms. They wore different colors. You know, there was dark tans, tans, just a wide variety of stuff. So I'll probably just use these torsos with a bunch of different colored, just uh, regular purist Lego legs. Uh, and I think that should actually look pretty good in terms of creating diversity in the ranks of the Southern soldiers for my Gettysburg mock and for any future mocks as well. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I got 11 of the Southern ones and six of the Union ones. Uh, this was my first order from this era from K-Town Bricks, and I'm excited for this. Uh, I, I do think that it would be great if K-Town Bricks can release a full 360-degree printed version of their Civil War soldiers, especially the Union ones. I would like that a lot, especially because I really like how K-Town Bricks designs. I think that they have a very nice, essentially, line between making their figures very realistic, but also still look like their genuine, you know, purist Lego designs. I think they have a good combination of that. But beyond that, I don't really think that there's anything else to add to this, you know, haul video. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe to learn more stuff, and I'll catch you next time.